Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming Mahindra Rise exam. Today, I am going to cover few of the important technical questions, quants questions and codes which were asked earlier and that can be 100% repeated in your exam. So, let me discuss all of these one by one. So, just before that, one request to you guys, please do subscribe because I am making videos every day and every day updating you what, what are the questions they are asking and what are the questions can be repeated for your exam. So, please do subscribe and like this video and please do share this content with your friends so that they can also take help and i can be motivated from this okay so i hope you will do so so let me share the first questions that is from spatial reasoning okay so uh, there will be some figure given to you okay now what you have to do you have to figure out what will be the next uh, figure what will be the next figure you have to observe what patterns it's following and then you have to find which uh, figure will suit here okay which figure among these will suit here you have to just observe that i hope you want to watch the problem so you have to just find okay i hope you have tried let me just give the answer so as you can see here in this uh in this picture in this figure x is equal to triangle and a circle is present in this format but here the positions of them are shifted changed okay so how is the shift is being done you have to observe that okay here as you can see x and equal are shifted their positions okay their positions and triangle and circle have also shifted their positions okay so this pair and this pair have shifted their positions to each other now here what they have done this two shift this two element have shifted their positions to the left bottom okay left bottom and this x and equal to have uh, like shifted to the right uh, top okay top right mm -hmm. so now the next figure is according to the first to second that means the shiftment between two uh, two figure that means equal to and x shifted their positions and triangle and circle have shifted their positions okay now in the next figure what you can expect that is uh, the figure coming to the left bottom and this two figure coming to the top right okay so that means this two figure uh, comes at their positions like top right and this two figure comes at the left bottom so without changing their positions right without changing their uh, like configurations now the next figure what can be the next figure can be just change their shift that means the triangle will be here and circle will be here and so and x will be here and equal to will be here so i hope you want to just shift their positions to each other and that will be the answer okay so i hope you want to so what's the uh, like options uh i think option one option a is the correct answer okay so i hope you want to how we have calculated it okay so let me go to the next question that will be the codes i will discuss so what are the coding they are asking so to know that guys please visit topmate.io slash techno underscore web just visit mind the rise full preparation 2025 2026 as you can see this is uh, marked by five star this is given by the students right and we have been recognized as 0.1 percent top uh, influencer in topmate and you can see the total questions they are asking is bob problem tom and bob problem mixed chain first and last positions coronavirus supermarket message ordering that means multi-thread problem and most of the time they are asking multi-thread problem and uh, the mixed chain problem and bob and tom problem so these three problems are being asked every time in the exam so please have the materials in which we have given all the answers five to five and also we have included cognitive spatial reasoning interview experience as well so please visit and grab the opportunity to crack mahindra rise exam okay so i hope you will do so so let me go to the next question that will be from spatial reasoning as well okay so this is the question guys please pause the video and try to give the answer in the comment section so let me give you the answer i hope you have tried a little okay so as you can see in this figure so the question is the next figure okay what is the next figure among these so let me tell you so here as you can see one uh, straight line okay horizontally and there is a curve okay uh, i mean arc and here we have one vertical lines and there in the right side we have four arcs okay now in the next figure what happened 
द द स्ट्रेट लाइन द वर्टिकल स्ट्रेट लाइन शिफ्टेड इट्स पोजिशन टू राइट एंड वन आर्क इज एडेड हियर एज लाइक इट इट बिकम्स एस ओके इट बिकम्स एस आई होप यू वॉन्ट टू नाउ द स्ट्रेट लाइन शिफ्टेड टू इट्स नेक्स्ट पोजिशन आई मीन राइट पोजिशन वन सेकेंड एंड वन कार वन आर्क एज एड एडेड हियर राइट एंड इन द नेक्स्ट फिगर एज यू कैन सी द Vertical line again shifted to its right, and one arc added here in such a way so that it can uh, like build a S-like form. Okay, and then again the straight line, I mean vertical line, shifted its right positions, and one arc is added at the top. So the next figure will be obviously will be almost same, just one S like this will be. The next figure okay so which for which figure have this configuration so this is eliminated this is eliminated so this is also eliminated so among these and these options can be there so as you can see as you can see option uh, <laughs> so here it has not shifted to its right positions so it should be shifted to its right positions right so here it is still there okay but here it is shifted to the right positions i mean from here to here so that's why i think option b will be the correct option okay so option b i mean option 1 is the correct answer i hope you understood and your answer is also same so let me go to the next question so the next question will be a quick question for you guys so this is the question from quants in the cinema set of a movie 125 mechanical aliens were created some of these aliens had peculiar peculiar features 40 i had two noses 30 had three legs 20 had four legs for four years and 10 had two noses and three legs 12 had three legs and four ears five had two noses and four ears and three had all three peculiar uh, peculiarities how many aliens had no such peculiar features so please pause the video and try to give the answer in the comment section and guys please recommend me which co like content do you want more like if you want more technical questions or if you want more cognitive questions i mean reasoning questions or not and which content like which company content do you want more just comment down your recommendations i'll try to give importance to your recommendations okay so let me go to the next question so the next question will be a technical questions so that is this so this type of uh, questions will be asked to you so this is a java problem but still cpp guys please like give importance because for you as well this type of questions will be asked okay output based questions what will be the output of the following pseudo code okay so int i for i is equal to 1 i less than 6 i plus plus if i greater than 3 continue then this so these are the options please give the answer in the comment section 4 5 6 and 7 so i hope you will pause and try to keep the answer okay so let me let me give the answer so at the very first i is 1 in the next iteration it is checking if it is i greater than 3 continue so then i increased so i becomes 2 then it is checking if i less than 6 yes so to go inside the block i mean go inside the for loop and it is checking if i greater than 3 then continue it will continue okay so it doesn't matter okay i think uh, this if block is not a matter so i will be increased anyway okay i will be increased anyway so it is lesser than 6 right so i is equal to 2 i is equal to 3 i is equal to 4 and i is equal to 5 now it is checking if i is equal to uh, i less than i i less than 6 yes i less than 6 so it will be executed right it will be executed it will be executed so as soon as students see that the condition is matching here so students tick here okay student tick i is equal to 5 but but this i is not 5 actually because the for loop how it's executed so at first the flow is here i is equal to the value of i it checks then it checks if the condition is matching or not as soon as the condition is matching then it will go inside the for loop and after executing the for loop then the i value is increased okay so as soon as it checks if i i less than 6 yes i less than 6 that is 5 then it executed 
uh, all the inside of the for loop it's executed then ith value is incremented by one that is i is equal to six now then it is checking if i less than six here it is false so it will not go inside the block okay so value of i after uh, the for loop it will be actually six okay i hope you understood so this is the mistake students make so be careful while like pointing to the answer okay so let me go to the next question that is from special reasoning as well so problems is this i hope this is visible to you guys so please pause the video and try to keep the answer in the comment section so here as you can see c and i this so the question is obviously what is the next figure okay c and i they are shifting their positions c and i shifting their positions continuously as you can see c and i i c c i c i i c okay and also this uh first bracket round bracket is also shifting i mean i mean shifting their direction so in this direction it is 180 degree movement it is also 180 degree movement for the next figure it is also changing its uh, like direction to 180 degree like as you can see 180 degree it's changing okay and for the arrow it is changing the direction after two figures okay after each two figures so it is in the same direction for these two and for this two figure it is in the downwards and for the next figure it is towards the up so it must be the next figure must have this i'm sorry the next figure must contain the arrow upwards okay and this first bracket should be 180 degree shifted and ic value should also be like this okay so this is the figure we will have so down it is eliminated downs are eliminated now uh, ci so if c is in the right side so that will also be eliminated okay and then if the arrow sorry if this uh, braces i mean this bracket is in the same side then that will also be eliminated okay so that's why the correct answer will be option 2 that is option d i hope you understood so guys i think this much of discussion is enough for today's session if you want me to upload many various things other than please comment down and recommend me which content you want more so that i can upload and one thing guys if you want me to upload virtuza content tcs content or any other deloitte content accenture content then please comment down so that i'll be uploading and i'll be in advance uploading the questions and uploading the playlist for those okay so thank you for today